Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Cattle Show. My name is John McDonald and I'm here today to demonstrate the Rawhide Portable Corral system that I've developed. If you're a cattle producer, you know that catching cattle is part of your everyday life. The Rawhide Portable Corral system is designed for one cowboy to set up and be ready to catch cattle in 10 minutes. Come on, let me show you how it works. <laughs> With the Rawhide Portable Corral system, one person can set the system up in 10 minutes. With the old way of setting up livestock panels, you'd have to have two or three guys to help you set up a system, balance a panel, make your pins, put your gates in place. With the Rawhide Portable Corral system, all the pieces hinge from the main frame. The 20-foot panels and the 13-foot panels are on solid rubber wheels, so you're able to just roll the system open and set it up by yourself, one person. With the Rawhide Portable Corral system, the labor involved consists of rolling, panels, unhooking chains, and operating the hydraulics to raise and lower, as opposed to with conventional cattle panels, lifting, putting panels on racks, with wear and tear to your shoulders and your back. So here we are, we have our corral system in the pasture, on the ground. Now to backtrack to how we got to this point, we brought the corral into the pasture, we found ourselves a decently level place, 25 by 25 feet, to set the mainframe down on. We have to make sure that we were at least 30 feet away from any existing fences so you have room for the radius of the fold when you open your corral system up. We've set it on the ground, taken the transport wheels off. We've opened up our corral, so now we have two pins. We have a larger pin to drive the cattle in. We have a smaller pin opposite the mainframe to work the cattle through when you're sorting between the two pins. Now you can either set this corral up to work out your alley to go to a loading chute or a squeeze chute, or you can leave it like it is and short your cattle between the two pins and load out of our eight foot bow gate and our small pin to your gooseneck trailer or to spill your cattle. In our corral system, we also have the availability of a three pin system stacked, whereas you would take a panel from the end of your system, move it up to a third link we have mounted on the first 20 foot section from the mainframe to create a 20 foot cut gate to have two pins in the large pin side. Then you also have your pin on the small pin side. What this allows for is three pin situation to where you can sort pairs easily. A lot of the cow calf guys like to do this. You can sort the cows and the calves between the two pins next to the mainframe bring your pairs from the opposite end of the corral. Having the two pins close to each other, you're able to sort the cows and calves because the cow can see mama, vice versa. What makes our corral system more practical than just setting up regular corral panels that you would set up one at a time. All of our panels are attached to each other. Each panel has a solid rubber wheel to allow for the rolling of the, the panel. The panels are attached to our main frame which serves as the anchor and the rack for the panels. So you just park these panels in your pasture, find the spot you want to open up towards the direction you might want to bring your cattle from, and you just roll your panels open in folds like a compass. Easier than carrying individual panels. You can always imagine taking these panels in a direction that you might want to set up, say a wing, say you want to encompass your chute, just pick the direction you want to head in, fold your panels up into a unit, and then you can roll in the direction you want to set up your corral. Say you want to have an oval on either side, you want to have a figure eight, so to speak. You can do that with the system. Say you want to create a lane to go from one pasture to another across the road. You can open the corral system up to follow into the pasture gate. If you want to set it up and have pins that you can sort to a loading chute. You can fold the corral system in a way that you have a 30 inch by 22 foot long alley just opposite the mainframe. You can sort out of the small pin up the alley to the loading chute or to a squeeze chute. You can also load out of the small pin side of the rawhide portable corral out the eight foot bow gate 
to a gooseneck trailer, ground load trailer, or a lot of guys will have tub systems. They might open the panels up towards the tub, crowd out of the small pin, out the eight foot bow gate to a tub situation. When you set up the rawhide portable corral system to load out into a loading chute semi situation, you want to remember that you need to pull your corral system towards the pasture fence with your pickup. You want to park your pickup at least 30 feet away from the pasture fence. That way when you set the system down, the exit for the alley is at the opposite end of the system. So that's leaving you the wide open spaces to turn your semi around and back up to the load and chute that you've positioned at the end of the alley. If you're loading out of that very same corral system into a gooseneck trailer and you want to load out the eight foot bow gate, you have to turn it around and back the corral towards the pasture fence and set it down. That will leave your eight foot bow gate open towards the wide open spaces that you might bring your gooseneck trailer from. We have six small gates on the Rawhide Portable Corral. One of the gates would be this man pass gate that we use for exiting while working cattle up the alley. If a guy's working by himself, and he doesn't have somebody up here to shut the gate or run the chute, he can push the cattle up this alley, exit this man pass gate and follow the cattle himself to the chute. We have the exit to the alley, which swings open this direction or you can swing that gate back against the panel on the inside to allow room to park your load and chute or your squeeze chute here at the end, end of your alley. We also have a palpation gate within the frame of the, of the alley itself. If you have cattle coming up the alley that you don't want in your chute, then you can open this, this gate to spill to the opposite side. If you have cows that you're wanting to preg, this can be used as a palpation gate for those that have squeeze chutes that don't have a palpation gauge in the back of it, you can park your squeeze chute here at the end of the alley, use this gate as a palpation cage. We also have a man pass gate here for human access in and out of the corral. When I designed the Rawhide Portable Corral System, I had come up with a pinning system that allowed me to fold all these panels up into a unit where they were touching each other. Then when I folded the unit to the mainframe over the racks which carry the panels, I had to allow for the void for the overlap. When I decided to allow for the void, instead of just having a frame that the panels were mounted to, I used that frame to create a man pass gate. Now these man pass gates allow for human access in and out of the crow on both sides. If the cattle are overloading towards you, you can exit to keep yourself from getting run over. It allows you to go around if your cattle are overloaded on top of your 10 foot bow gate. You can go cut through a man pass gate in the mainframe to get yourself to the large pin side to move the cattle away from the gate. All of our panels hinge like gates, but we actually have two real gates in the system to sort with. We have an eight foot bow gate that makes up the alley to where you have a gate to crowd up the alley. We have a 10 foot bow gate that's part of the mainframe to allow you to sort between pins from the large pin to the small pin. But then you can also use those two gates to overlap each other to load out into a gooseneck from the large pin side if you don't have the ability to get to the small pin side with the cattle that you need out the opening. And we also have our man pass gates all throughout the system. So you don't have to climb out when you're sorting and moving cattle around. You always have human access on all four corners of the system to go around the crow. We have built the Rawhide Portable Corral System to last. The Rawhide Portable Corral System panels are made of two inch round 14 gauge tubing that is a high tensile tubing. This tubing, all coped and saddled, gives it the same strength as a 10 gauge material butt welded. Our main frame is made of three by three, three sixteenth square tubing, and the axles and racks on the system are made of two and three eighths schedule 40 pipe. All the pins on the pinning system are seven eighths rod. The hinges for the pinning system are made out of one inch schedule 80 pipe. With the two inch round 14 gauge all coped and saddled, the Rawhide Portable Corral System panel has the flexibility to take a hit and come back and not be crimped. A lot of the farm panels are lightweight, light gauge panels, and they can be pinched. If they're square tube, it can be bent. When I talk about the panels being coped and saddled, a lot of your conventional livestock panels are just butted together and welded. On our panels, the tubing is run through a notcher. The notcher puts a, a cope, we call it, in the end, and then when you butt it up to an upright piece, it surrounds that piece. Therefore, you're getting a longer weld when you weld the two pieces together, which gives it more strength.
All of the 20 foot panels on the Rawhide Portable Corral system can be unpinned from each other. The first panel that we have on the system is welded permanent to the panel. We have a stabilizer here in the middle so the panel doesn't lean when you roll the system open. We want this first panel to stand up as we roll the unit of four open from the system. This panel carries the other three. Once you've got this panel open, then as you open the remaining panels, we have our flexibility from our collared pinning system that allows for uneven terrain and flexibility. One of the keys to the Rawhide Portable Corral System's versatility and flexibility is the collared pinning system. The collared pinning system is like having a mini panel on the end of your corral panel. You can raise and lower this collar to pin your panels together. It has the flexibility to go all the way around the panel. If you're on uneven terrain, the top collar can be at nine o'clock, the bottom collar could be at three o'clock. In that overlap, the terrain can change two to three feet and this panel will allow for it while attached to the other panel. We have a chain latch and a 48 inch chain on all the end panels for easy chaining of the corral panels together once you've caught your cattle. After everything's settled down, then you can pin your seven inch collar to your three inch collar on the opposite panel. On each of the Rawhide Portable Corral panels, we have a polyurethane tire. You don't have to worry about having flats holding you up on your cattle operation while you go get your tire fixed. Each of these wheel frames are solid on the panel, allowing for the panels to be rolled open like a compass when you roll the system open. You don't want these wheel frames on a caster. If you were to roll these panels open in a set of four, if one wheel was to turn broadside because of a caster, it would hold you up and you couldn't roll it anymore. That's why we went without the casters on these panels. On the Rawhide Portable Corral System 20 foot sections at the end of the corral on the large pin side, we have two braces. Each of these braces is made of two and three eighths schedule 40 pipe built on the same collared principle that we use for our pinning system with inch and a quarter by quarter cleats on the bottom to grab when you drive it into the ground. This allows for when the cattle are pushing it bites on the back when the cattle might bump the other side and pull the corral system that the opposite direction, it bites into the ground as well. I advise when cattle are in the corral system though, that you pick the braces up and put them back on the panel and allow your corral system to budge and move itself a little bit when your cattle are bumping into it. Cattle are like we are. If we lean on something and it moves, we pull back. If it's solid, we keep leaning on it. If cattle lean on it, and it doesn't move, they'll keep pressing on it. I found with this corral system, even though we're on wheels, if you have your corral system ovaled, wheels are running in different directions. So they're not all going to roll. They're going to serve as skids. But I would rather the cattle bumped into it, it moved a little bit, they'd pull away from it. A lot easier on your corral system. On our system, there's no levers, there's no cranks to raise your panels up off the ground. We have hydraulics on our system that do all the work. We have a deep cycle battery, two-way power unit in this box for power up and power down. We have a charging plug that's attached to the battery that you plug into your pickup that trickle charges your battery as you go down the highway. You operate the back cylinder just by the press of a switch to raise and pick your panels up off the ground. Once you've caught your panels then, you have a selector valve here to divert the oil to the front. Then you hit the switch and it raises the tongue up off the ground to put it on the bumper of your pickup. Our, our coupler is a two inch coupler for a two inch ball with safety chains for safety when pulling down the highway. Once you've arrived to your pasture with your rawhide portable corral system, we don't have a jack on the front like you, most of your gooseneck trailers might have where you have to crank the jack. The system is entirely hydraulic. So once you get your location picked, with the hit of a button, you can set the front end of the system down once you've taken it off your pickup, reverse the button, raise the back end of the system, take your transport wheels off, roll those transport wheels out of your way, hit the button again to set the system back down on the ground. Once you've set the system on the ground, just unchain and roll the panels from the system like a compass. You have not had to carry one panel. You haven't had to pry on any levers or anything like that. All you had to do was roll the panels from your system. I know not all of the pastures that you have are the perfect pasture when it comes to being level. But the way our system is designed, if you set the main frame of the system down on decently level ground for the pivot, the raising and lowering of the system 
when you fold your panels to fold up or when you take your panels to open your panels for your system is very important. But our system also allows for uneven terrain because of our pinning system. Our pinning system is a collared pinning system that allows us to raise one end of a 20 foot section off the ground two feet and the opposite end doesn't even leave the ground. As the terrain changes, the panels follow the terrain and allow for pastures that have a lot of hills in them. The main frame of the rawhide portable corral system comes off of its transport wheels. So your main frame serves as the anchor for your system. The only thing that you must remember to do is if your, pa your pasture is awful hilly, you need to back your main frame towards the hill, then set it down on the hill once you've taken the transport wheels off and then roll the panels from the system. This allows for a more stable base for your panels. With the design of the Rawhide Portable Corral system, the system will flow. With the two pins, you also can set up the 30 inch wide alley, it's 22 feet long. The exit to the alley can also have a head kitch mounted to the exit of the alley. When your veterinarian comes out, then you can preg cattle. You can ear tag and give shots to your cattle and it'll make it easier on you and your veterinarian when you're working your cattle at home. At weaning, cows can be put in the large pin side, calves can be put in the small pin side to make it less stressful on both. Now that you have your rawhide portable corral system in the alley position, there are a few things you want to remember to do for safety. You'll want to remove these racks for the use of the alley. The, the racks unpin with an inch and a quarter cold rolled rod pin. You also want to remember that your cylinder foot is pressed into the ground a little bit to where you don't have something for cattle to get their toes under as they walk through the alley. With the different sizes of the rawhide portable corral system that we have, if you're a rancher that has 35 pair in a pasture and that's the largest number you would have, the standard model would work for you with the capacity that it allows. You're able to get the 35 pair in the large pin side, leave your small pin open to where you could then sort your calves from your cows or vice versa in your standard corral system. If you're a rancher that might have 100 to 150 cow-calf pair, the standard plus three model would be more for your system. You would then do the same thing. You'd be able to load the standard plus three and sort between the two pins. We have the capacity to do that. Each time you add a 20 foot section to the rawhide portable corral system, you give yourself an additional 35% in capacity. So as you add panels to it, you get more capacity. Therefore, the more livestock will fit in your system. With all the lease pasture, in the country today, ranchers are spread out more and more. It's not cost effective to build corrals in each of these pastures. So with the rawhide corral system, you're able to take the system from pasture to pasture, and as well as taking it home, you can set it up at your ranch and use it to process cattle in the wintertime. The corral system is designed to park and drive through when you're leading your cattle, so your cattle can follow you through the system, through the mainframe, and exit through the small pen. A lot of times ranchers have pastures that are several miles apart these days and it is designed to travel at highway speeds and go down the road with ease. For towing and storing of the Rawhide Portable Corral system, the system stands on its transport wheels 9 foot 6 tall, 25 feet long from the tip of the tongue to the end of the system and 8 feet wide from the outside of each of the transport wheels. We have it designed to where you can fold it up and get it into most of those hard to get into pasture driveways that might just be 8 feet wide. Now we've worked our cattle. We're ready to fold our rawhide portable corral up and take it home. There's a few things you need to remember to do before you start folding your corral up. Number one is make sure your racks are sticking straight out from the mainframe. We folded our racks up when we were catching our cattle to have them out of our way. You have to look at your, your big cylinder on the back here. If you were using your alley, you press that foot down into the ground so where your cattle didn't trip over it. Now that you've you're done with it. You want to raise that cylinder back up because if the cylinder is still pushing into the ground, it's going to have your racks up a little higher than what you want and your panels won't roll over your racks. So we have our racks out. We have our cylinder up on the back end. Now you'll want to fold the set of four panels opposite the tongue first to allow for our overlap that we have to get everything over the racks. So we'll fold this fold up first. When we fold these panels up, you have to always remember odd out, even in. So we have four panels here. When I fold these panels up, I want to take the end panel in. Then we go out with the third. I'll start at the end, but as I roll, I'll walk with the panels so the panels won't fan on me. Then we'll go in. You 
notice I'll roll these panels in two pair. Now the same thing on this side. Fourth in. The third out. Then you'll chain your rack. Then you'll wrap your end chain to bundle tight for transport. Just straight across. There you have it. The Raw High Portable Corral System is constructed to last, easy to use, and very versatile. I'm John McDonald with Raw High Portable Corral System. Thank you for watching another edition of the Cattle Show. If you have a product or service that you'd like to see featured on a future program, or if you have questions or comments, please contact us.